right guys welcome back to only if with the stella wilson um today's video is going to be for women but the men if you want to stay and learn a little bit about your woman's body or if you have girls or if you just need some information on menstruals and cycles and how we get through it all just keep watching so in today's video we are going to be talking about <sighs> the woes of menstruals and how we make it through that crazy week so if you're having a tough week and you don't have a mother sister auntie to help you out i am going to be your girl today so first off ladies let's just talk about the fact that we still have to function on our period we still have to go to school we still have to go to work we still have to get up and do something. I am not saying do not take the time that you need to relax your body and to take a break. So like when you don't got to go to work, you can, you know, stay at home, lay in the bed if that's what you choose to do. But life still goes on even when you're on your period. So no calling off every single month. It is something you're gonna gotta get used to. But I am going to show you all the tricks in the trade that I have used over the years. I am 42 years old and I feel like I've always had the worst cramps ever known to man and the worst period, let me tell you. Right now I am on a 21 to 22 day cycle and I've been to the doctor and it's terrible. I like in my younger days, I would be like at a 30 day cycle. So once a month and now sometimes I can get it twice a month. So it is terrible. Anyway, here are some free things you can do to relieve some of the pain and we are going to get started. I did make a little bit of a list so that I don't forget. So we are going to go through the list the first free things that you can do is you can take a really really hot bath i mean put the temperature of the heat as high as you can take it in the water and get in there and instantly you will feel better i used to sleep in the baths now i'm not recommending that guys because i know a lot of people drown in the bath and I'm not responsible for that but sit in there for an hour or whatever but I used to fall asleep in the bath my mom my husband will come in there um, and they will wake me up but if I'm having a really really bad cramp and everything else seems not to work and I got to go to work the next day I'm getting in that bath I'll be sleeping there Anyway, that doesn't work out too well for the hair neither. But a really hot bath is the number one thing you can do that's free. The next thing you can do if you're struggling and this one, I think I learned this around maybe 18, 19 years old, is lay on the floor. For whatever reason, I lay on the floor and I don't know why. It relieves pressure. I don't know what it does, but it feels so good. Lay on the floor. Like, not carpet. I mean, you could lay on carpets, but you want something hard. Like, I've laid on the ground. I don't care. I've laid in the bathroom. I've laid on hotel floors. I just put a blanket on there. But lay on the floor. Try to get a hard floor. That's the other free thing that you can do to relieve some pressure. Okay, these next items are going to be somewhat uh, a little bit of a cost, but you, they're doable. Okay, the next thing you can do is take some ibuprofen. So I always buy this Motrin IB. They also have Midol and other things like that. That never seemed to work for me. Motrin is my go. And I'm very particular. I don't like Advil and I like the orange ones. Let me show you a peel. And they have to look like this. Don't ask me why. The long ones. These. These are the ones that work. And I have to get these from Walgreens. Walmart don't got them. CVS don't got them. I got to go to Walgreens and I'm looking for these babies. They help me out. I don't know why. My doctor knows that I take these. I tell them that this is my 
choice of pain reliever not only for menstrual craps i also have bad feet pain and so this is this works for my body give it a try if you tried advil and mydol and all them other pills that don't work try this go to walgreens your local walgreens okay this is not a sponsored video okay so ibuprofen is the next thing you can do that's very affordable that can release some pain i usually take two in the morning sometimes three that gets me halfway through the day and then i might need two more so i could be taking like five pills a day if i'm having a really bad day but those get you too okay the next thing you can do is buy a warming blanket or a warming stuff animal now the warmies they're called warmies and they're a stuffed animal and i never had one of these but my sister bought one for my niece and at first she hated it and now it's like her support stuffed animal like you can put it in the microwave i'm going to show a picture it's going to be here um you can put it in the microwave you can lay it on your stomach you can cuddle with it and it is so comfortable and it relieves pressure and it gives you all the cuddles you need get a warming toy maybe if they're younger or you can get a warming blanket mine is this long blanket i've had it for a long time and i literally lay it uh, around my body now today i don't know why i'm loving maroon but it has uh lines through it and that's what heats it i don't know if you can see it but, I mean, it's pretty big. Like, I can wrap it around me like this. I usually wrap it around my stomach. Here are the um, different, um, what do you call it, functions. So, you can have, let's see, put it this way. You can have high, medium, low, and warm. And you just cut it on. And that tells you, it does auto cut off. So, if you're not using it for like 30 minutes, like after 30 minutes, it'll cut off. So, you can put this on before you go to bed. In 30 minutes, you'll be sleeping like a baby. And this will be cut off and you'll be safe. So, a warming blanket is a must. Or a warming animal. As you get older, I think you're going to use a warming blanket. But, I'm just going to put that up there out the way. Okay. With warming um warming things there's a whole bunch of other warming things now this next item is a really old i'm talking maybe almost 20 years old so don't look at how it look but it still works so i'm not getting rid of it i don't even know what you call it but it can go cold and hot and mine again oh it's the original bed buddy hot and cold pack look at that look at that go find you one of these it could be hot or cold, so you can use it if you need to heat something up or cool something down, like muscle relief or something like that. Of course, I use it for hot. I like that it has two handles on it. Yes, please. I don't got no one to help me out. Look at that. You can put it across your back, and I'm plus size, so go get you one of one of these these are amazing you put it in the microwave i say about three minutes gets it hot and huh, you can put it on your neck you got back um pain you can set it right here i like that it has the two handles mine again is 20 years old you invest in it and you don't ever need to worry about that again okay we're not done we have another item let's talk about it we have the whoopee cushion. Oh my God. So my sister got me this. I was having the worst. I, it was probably in my 30s. I was married already. And I was literally bent over in the corner crying. And my husband called my sister. I, he was like, I don't know what's wrong with my wife, with your sister. Please come help. And my sister came over with this, buddy. You can put this... Um, the really really hot water in there it stays hot for about two hours and then you just lay it on your stomach i kind of sleep on top of it i literally put it in between like my legs and like lean on it and lay on it and oh my god let me tell you this works as well except you have to get up and change it every about two hours because the water that was hot 
is now cold and then it doesn't work. So kind of gives you that same kind of feeling that you get when you take a bath, but bath water lasts a lot longer. And during that week, my water bill is a lot higher because I let the water out, I put more hot water in, I let the hot water out, I put more hot water in, and it is what it is. But get yourself a whoopee cushion if you are in need of something else. Okay, the next item I have is Icy Hot. It's in my purse because I carry it with me all the time. And, oh my God, let me go. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to be right back. Hold on. Because you need a particular Icy Hot. You have to get this one. The other ones don't work. Just like with the Ivory Pro Friend, I have a particular brand and kind. For me and my body, particular icy hot works hold on guys i am back i got it from my purse and it's this icy hot the original do not get the gray version don't get um what's that other stuff it start with a b the green kind no you need this one screenshot it right now this one works instant relief put that on i use gloves i buy gloves from the dollar tree walmart whatever just those regular vinyl whatever gloves and I put it on this side I massage this side in I move the glove over I use one glove every morning I massage the other side get yourself some icy hot and you will thank me later icy hot okay I have to show you that because it's very particular okay what else do we got okay now that we have talked about all of the things that help you relieve some pressure Let's talk about a little bit about women's health and things that you can do that come along with um, being on your period. If you have very sensitive areas down there and you have tried pads and you hate it and you try tampons and for whatever reason it irritates you, try the cup. I was one who don't like change, don't like trying new things, and I really, really do love the cup. I use the cup on every single day that I'm on my period and I coupled that with pads on really really heavy days. The cup has worked for me. They last about six months and then you really need to throw it out and get a new one or at least for me they come two to a pad. That saves you a lot of money on tampons and pads so look into the cup. Okay, the next thing you can do is obviously you can drink cranberry juice that helps your women body just get back to its normal state. It helps with like the pH balance of, I don't know, your drink cranberry juice. It helps you out. Like it helps your body get back to whatever original state it needs to be really, really quickly. I don't know what all is in cranberry juice that helps, but you need 100% cranberry juice. I'll show you the one that I drink. I'll put it on the screen because I took a picture of it. Okay, the next thing you can do is drink alkaline water. Now, the higher pH balance works for you. I mean, they can get expensive. At Walmart, the highest one is that blue one. It's like it's blue and it says 9.5 alkaline water. It's a Walmart brand and that is the one that I normally get and it seems to work for me. But get yourself some alkaline water and drink that the week that you're on your period and you will have a better transition after you come off. Okay, the next thing you can do is get yourself some probiotics and you can take these. I start to take them a few days before I come on my period and throughout the week. And I am getting low on them right now. I probably got like, I don't know, five or six pills left in there. They are really big. I don't like taking pills. I'm not one that loves taking pills, but these babies help me stay healthy. So if you are having problems with the transition of your balance, your body and your pH balance, get yourself some of these or you can eat a yogurt every day. The doctor did tell me that yogurt has a probiotic kind of relief and benefits, but I'm not a yogurt person that I can eat it every day. I can eat it maybe twice a week, but every day is not happening. So get yourself some probiotic pills or some uh, yogurt. Okay, the next thing you can do if you are struggling with the health down there after you come out of a menstrual, I recommend this hydrochromosome cream. It's fast-ish and 
rash reliever and sometimes your body down there just needs a relief if you are like using tampons cups pads and right after you're done about to be off when it's a little bit irritated you can put this on it instant relief this came from the dollar tree you can't buy it online because one time dollar tree was out and i ordered them from amazon like six of them i'm not sure if walmart has them but dollar tree has these and it works amazing put this down there in your lady parts and you will thank me later okay did i get everything that was on this list let me see I think I did. So if you have any more tricks for any of us women and you want to share them in the comments below because this is a community. We are here to help each other. Put them down in the comments below. I would love to know what do you use if you have reliefs, if you had really bad cramps in the past and now they're better. Let us know all the tricks you use down below and I will talk to you guys next time. I hope this video has helped someone and I'll see you later. Bye.